G'day mates, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. So here we go, we're doing pretty well. Swedish saviors are coming down and saving the day. And uh, we're doing most of it by ourselves. The allies are pretty much great as garrison troops, but they lack the, um, I guess, the compunction to, or the effort, the, the commitment to push through and uh, break the German lines. And that is where the mighty Swedish tanks, led by Eric F. Edholm, are coming in. We have over here uh, Folke Holkeberg is, uh, sorry, pronunciation guys, I am a shocking uh, speaker of Swedish, but uh, Folke Holkeberg is coming in and doing a pretty good job. He's, uh, he's uh, you know, he's got the, the B team over here, so he's doing what he can with what he's got. But he's doing pretty well pushing into Germany, and they are very nearly capitulated. They are at 92%, just a little bit more. Our main push lately has been on killing off as many of the German troops as we can, and we're pushing off. We've almost completely retaken Vichy France for France proper, for, I suppose, authentic, real France. Excuse me, and uh, it looks like a little bit of a gap opening up down here. Now, uh, this is, uh, I suppose, part two of the uh, Let's Drunk Let's Play, so uh, I may be a little bit off my game here. I haven't been on alcohol for a long, long time because I've... I've been sick, but uh, you know, it's always good to have a bit of beer every now and then. It will uh, help to liberate the thinking just a little bit. So hopefully we can continue to push through and kill ourselves some Germans. Although in this case, it's looking like we're going to be taking out the Spaniards. So we're going to push down once these guys eventually win. Far, far in the distant future. Uh, United Kingdom, why are they not giving us Chromium? Low trade influence. You should be happy with what we're doing for you. We are basically saving your asses. I mean, you know, without us. Uh, well, historically, yes, the UK did win the war. Uh, but it did take the US to come in and help. And they're doing a pretty rubbish job so far. I haven't seen... I can't see any other... Oh, there's a couple of kids. 19 divisions there. You know, I take that back. Our U, uh, United States brothers are doing a very good job. Thank you very much. You're actually contributing quite a bit to this war. Let's have a quick look how much the uh, US is contributing. They are 1%. Spectacular, boys. Spec bloody tacular. Uh, you've lost 62,000, though, and uh, you're 422 divisions. So you do bring a lot to the table. You actually bring more than anybody else. I don't know if they're very good divisions, but you definitely got a fair few of them. We've got 69, which is probably third best. Australia. <laughs> Australia at 58. Good on you, Australia. Fucking hell, mate. Uh, Canada, 7. That's pathetic. Uh, especially because Canada, historically, was a very big contributor to the war. Uh, it's a little bit disappointing that they're doing so poorly this time. Uh, you know what? Let's grab a rocket effort. Might be interesting to see what I can find. Uh, so Canada with seven divisions versus Australia with what 58 or whatever whatever that number was they're doing pretty well Australia is actually uh, Fighting quite a bit over here. We're we missing fighters uh, Yeah, okay, that's no problems because we are throwing fighters over here. No doubt. They have all died off No, they haven't died off, but they can't stop 300 bombers from taking air, you know superior to the skies We can fire as many bullets in as we want, but we are not going to stop them Either way, things are looking pretty good. You are... You're nearly down there, actually. Probably worthwhile sending in reinforcements. Uh, yeah, okay, we've taken to lose. Excellent, guys. Excellent. Can you go that way? There we go. Attack there. Yes, yes. Come on, boys. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. Fuck off. Come on. Trundling along at top speed. Let's actually have a quick look at what top speed is. Top speed is one kilometer per hour. I can walk, comfortably walk, five times faster than these guys are traveling. Just to put things in perspective. <laughs> They're doing a rubbish job there, but they are getting there. You could probably attack there just to distract them for the time being. That'll allow us to hopefully... Shit, we've been cut off. Okay, let's get down there. Let's not lose these tanks. If we lose them, we're in a very, very nasty position. Ah, uh, shit. You guys go that way. Break back out. 
we'll be able to get out very, very quickly, I think. You are not doing anything. You should be going down. May as well go that way. And there we go, we've linked up again. So Toulouse will be providing supply for these guys. We will be getting a little bit from them, but not a huge amount. Uh, yeah, this looks like a bit of a trap. We're losing a lot of ground here. The French are doing what they do best and retreating, or sorry, advancing northwards. They don't retreat, they simply advance the other direction. Either way, either way, we've got our people. We have liberated them from the entrapment there. Uh, I'm going to have to leave a couple of them behind though. Mm, not sure how we're going to approach this one. Let's have a quick look how many... We're still short. 600 tanks. We're actually low on support equipment. Uh, we need a lot of motorized as well as well as improved artillery. We are struggling with our, with our... We've been attacking for too long and too hard. So we are losing a lot of our equipment. These guys up here are probably going to need to stop for now. So if I call you back, we will stop hemorrhaging equipment quite so quickly. Uh, you guys are pretty good for the most part. You're short, just a couple of motorized and a few tanks here and there. So again, we're being cut off, but that's not a major problem. If we attack down that way, that'll allow us to... You guys actually should stop attacking. You also can stop attacking. Okay. We're looking a little bit better. We got ourselves with the supply line, finally. Not a very good supply line. I've never liked how this game does this, so because we don't control, as far as I can tell at least, because we don't control very much of this area, we're actually not getting very much supply when we should be getting a clean amount of supply in through here. So, uh, this is it's a bit of a shit uh, gameplay decision, I think, but, you know, we're going to work with it. We're going to do the best we can. So, the, the way to... Uh, you know, that's the border there. So the way to increase the supply here is actually to take more territory as opposed to keeping an open supply line. So yeah, that's a that's a thing I suppose. Either way, what we're going to do, we're going to stop attacking. I don't know why they keep attacking. I'm going to go that way instead. We might actually abandon to lose. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to bring you down there. I'm going to bring a couple of you guys down there. And, yeah, we can pocket up these guys along the river. We won't go for the greedy push. I was probably getting a little bit greedy there before. But that's no biggie once we win this battle. Hopefully, advance northwards if you'd like. You're not going to get far. Once we win this battle, we can push off that way. You send two of you that way. And it'll be able to hold this front as well. Again, once we win that. Okay, let's speed up a little bit and hope for the best. Okay, looking good, looking good. All we need now is to take down one more thing. Once we win here, we've won. I'm going to send you guys that way. I'm going to leave one of you behind to hold the flank. And with that, we're getting there. We are getting... No, we're not getting there. We are not getting there. These guys appear to be attempting to retreat. Let's try and hold them. Okay, we've got them. We have got them. All we need to do now is hold the front. And I think we've got this locked down because I'm not going to be able to attack across that river. So there you go. A whole bunch more of oh, Spanish. Spanish are being knocked down. A couple of Germans in there. Not too many of them. But we had a shit ton of Spaniards locked up and blown away. Guys, you got... Oh, no! 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 They're getting away. Not happy about that. Not impressed. Okay, there we go. So we still did get trap a lot of Spaniards, but I think a couple of them may have slipped through, but for the most part, we've got them locked down. Now, we could let them starve there for a while and uh, sort of uh, have the attrition work on them, but I think for now, I'm just going to keep pushing in. They do get an active supply bonus after 24 hours, so we can beat them back very, very quickly. Uh, okay, we've killed off a lot of our people. Let's have a quick look how many we've lost here. We are losing a lot of men. Sweden, we've lost 300,000, which may not sound like a lot, but considering our tiny population of 7 million people, which is approximately the same size as Australia at this time frame, 
it's uh, it's pretty shit, all things considered. Either way, we'll attack on in, and we can kill off more than 20 of them. Actually, I think there were nearly 25 in there at the time that we attacked. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Okay, over here, Germany and... Uh, no, I think the Germans are nearly beaten. Let's have a quick look at them. Germany is currently at 96%, so the, the Allies have pushed an additional 4%. It's a good proper groogie push there. Now, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to let the French die down there. Are they French? Are they the ones? Um, it's France. Definitely France. It's hard to tell with these tiny little flags. Um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? 15 of these guys. And I'm sure we had 16 at one point. Maybe not. And we're going to push... <laughs> go Australia you know what we're going to ignore Germany we're going to save Australia I was going to say we're going to ignore these guys down here because they're not relevant to the war but Australia is always relevant to the war so we're going to save these bastards we're going to save them from themselves I think they've probably got it locked down but I'd hate for them to be overrun the AI does tend to fail a lot of naval invasions so we're going to push on in we're going to rescue the Australians and uh, liberate Spain from Franco. Yeah, it's definitely the way of going. And improved artillery is very nice. It's a passive bonus. We just gained 10% soft attack. We get another little bit uh, of 10% soft attack here for... Yeah, for any kind of artillery we've got. 65 days that is a pretty good investment on our time. Especially considering we're already gaining 10% attacks. It's now gone to 11% and then 12%. So uh, we are leveling up our uh, the proportion that artillery makes to our total division strength. And killing off a lot of Germans. Ooh, what are they doing? Is that the Poles? The Poles are giving us... Fuck off. Not even worth my effort finding the bloody thing for one. Uh, let's have a quick look here. They are... They've definitely dropped in the number of divisions they've got. I think it was between four and 500 before... So we're definitely bringing them down quite significantly. Hmm. There's our people. It's hard to see our people. So many bloody flags everywhere. I can't tell where we are. But we are doing pretty well. We're moving on down. There's 14 of them there. There'll be another one somewhere. Actually, you know what? 14 is overkill. You attack that way across the Pyrenees. If only to distract them. That'll just buy us a little bit of time. And actually, I'll take another half of you. And open up a new uh, a new angle of attack just over here. There we go. That'll allow us to push through. And now the Australians will have a uh, another line of supply if these two ports do get cut off. Which, at this point, they're unlikely to. But you never, never know. Australia is doing a pretty good job. But I don't think they have the best tech. I don't know if the AI is a very good tech master. Uh, you guys can stop attacking because that is stupidity. Uh, seven of you. What are we going to do? Now, we can't really attack around these mountains very much. The Pyrenees will will totally rape us. So, at this point... At this point, I think we're better off leaving France and the other allies and the rest of the Australians to hold off here. And we might be able to actually move over and push down to Madrid. I think that's our best course of action at this point stage of the game so go that away that away over to Burgos straight down to Madrid and um, they're not going to move very quickly it's pretty low infrastructure and uh, fairly mountainous terrain but you know what they'll get there eventually they will get there and I mean these tanks are a step better than previous ones as we move away from you now we've still got a couple of she we're short of tanks. But the level 3 tanks are doing pretty well. Level 2... We haven't got very many... ...of the tanks here. We're producing, what's that, nearly 8 a day. You're doing a pretty rubbish job. Doing pretty well, but we're not getting that many just yet. Looks like the Australians have been completely cleaned up. So... 
We're going to stop advancing on the capital and instead go up that way and try and take the port. It'll hopefully allow us to bottleneck off a couple of these guys before we get it too bottlenecked off ourselves. Yeah, not looking good. Not looking good here. We might lose a bunch of tanks. You're going to go up to Bilbao. Okay, we think we've opened up a new... Shit! Okay, the Spanish are coming up in force. I had thought we'd have a clean push down, but the Spaniards are... There we go. If I pause it, I get better zoom level control. If it's, uh, if it's running over, it tends to miss a tick and move too many zoom levels. That's why I'm going in and out with the mouse all the time. Or with the camera. I uh, don't care about this. We'll just grab the naval bombers. I'll have to research them. Now, to try and keep these guys under control. I think if we can take Bilbao, we'll be secure. We'll have our own uh, source of supplies from now on. So, you probably going to go that way, and half of you can open up a new angle of attack there. Because they're crossing that river. It's a bit of a struggle. I could just go up a bit further. I don't think I have the time, so we're beginning to run out. How are our supplies going? Not good, not good. Of course, attrition is not something we can afford, because... Fuck, oh, I hate the UK. You know what? What are we trading here? Uh, chromium. Is there anyone else who will trade for it? I think South Africa will trade a lot more. You're going to be my new chromium buddies. There we go. I need that bloody chromium because I have got. A, you gotta have those nice shiny chromium bumpers on the front of your uh, on the front of your tanks. Makes them look beautiful. And of course, we've got streamlined thingamajig. Let's have a quick look over here. Nothing I need. Oh, I might as well go construction. Extra ten percent doesn't do a huge amount at this point of the game, but uh, could be handy. We will build it in a day. I think we've lost a bunch of our people here. This is not good. Nicked good. Uh, you guys need to win this battle, first of all. Okay, you've won that battle, now you need to push that way. Okay, you need to win this battle again. Okay, two of you need to go that way, and the other two need to push that way. That'll just buy us time. Okay, we're out of supplies. Well and truly out of supplies, but at least these guys are regaining their organization slightly as we keep pushing. I need to get in there. But of course, all of them are out of supplies. <sighs> Maybe you two can push down across the river. Nope. I think I've lost all my tanks. That is not good. That is seriously not good. So. Oh shit. That's kind of cool looking. You guys push in there. And then. I need you to move. I think I'm going to bring you guys down to help. Get us out of this mess. Although it may not be something you can do. You guys just hold for the time being. You guys also hold. Can I do? What can I do? Can I open up a new? Can I open up? You guys go that way. And then I can get through to there. Come on, push, 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 push. Yes. Okay. So we've linked all our tanks up together, and most of them, anyway. There's still a couple up here. But these guys now, if I can get you to retreat across the river. And then we can break in there and link up our supply lines again. This has gone very, very badly. Okay, it's everyone together now there. The morale is shit. Really, really shit. If you guys push over this way. Whatever, you stay there for now. 
you three, if you could push down there, I need you to get in there and save four Australians and a shit ton of Swedes in there who are going to need your help very, very quickly. Come on, guys. Come on, fellas. You know what? We may be better off going that way. Near the coast. It is going to be... It's mountainous. It's actually hills. That's probably a better attack. Strategic bomber. Not hugely useful, but whatever. We will take it. Can't go any further. I don't need the air doctrine. I don't need... What I need is more industry. I can't get any more industry. What I need is... Artillery. I can't get any more artillery because I'm researching that. I wonder if it's worthwhile. 500 days to just push for that. These are kind of useful as well. I could upgrade... Actually, I'll upgrade the heart attack. If we, can, if we can break that there, or there, if we can break one of these two, then we've saved our tanks. Meanwhile, these guys up here have killed a shit ton of Germans up there. Germany is currently at 97%. Ah, oh, I said I'd get them this episode. I know this episode's going on a little bit long, but we're going to keep on pushing. I want to keep going. I don't really care about episode length. I don't control it too much. Oh, shit, yes. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. We got it. We finally bloody got it. Uh, I'm going to take Advanced Artillery, level 3, and look at that, we got it. Now these guys are going to be regaining, oh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We've got them. Now that was an absolute disaster. Now there's still a bunch of Australians and a couple of Yanks over here who are, and even a couple of Brits, who are going to die off. We're going to save the Pommies and the Brits and the Yanks and the Australians and all that. We're going to get over there and save them quick smart. So... Actually, I think you're going to push there. You've got that. You are actually going to push that way. And widen this supply line. We've got a port as well, which is useful. And we've also killed off a couple of crowds at the same time. Okay, things are looking a little bit better. Now we need to get over there, save these strings. They do have a port, so they are good for that. But it would be great to uh, link them up so they can begin to contribute to the fight rather than just be trapped over there. Meanwhile, meanwhile, this guy over here is pretty good now. Yeah, it looks like Vienna will be the last thing to fall. We may even be able to take it with Graz. Graz. So you actually send all your people that away. Now, I'm sure some of you somewhere will get through. Mm, maybe not. This is actually going quite poorly. Uh, no, actually a couple of you getting through. So we are fighting through the Swedish Alps here. Uh, no, we're not. What are they? Swiss Alps? Swiss Alps? No. Hang on. Yeah, the Alps. This is the Alps. My geography is uh, not that badly affected by beer just yet. So we are getting down there. We are gradually pushing. The thing is, no. Too many Germans. We don't have the supply to do that. So we're going to not do that. We're going to, on this side of the river, we're going to build up there. We're going to have a planning bonus to take that. And we're going to take Graz or Vienna or both. And uh, you guys can build up your planning bonus. Hopefully you don't take too much. Yeah, not too bad. How is our... I don't care about that. I care about towed artillery. We are doing pretty well. We're a couple of days behind in production, but I think we're keeping up for the most part. The motorized are not too far behind either. Infantry equipment and support equipment are pretty much under control. We've lost a couple. I'm sure we've lost two, haven't we? We're at 15 before. That's shit. We've probably lost them over here, I think. Either way, you need to come over so I can keep an eye on you. Yeah, okay. We've lost two in that, uh, you know, the fracas over here. 
So hopefully we can keep a couple of these guys under control. You know what? I did want to beat Germany this episode, but that is not going to happen. So we're at 25 minutes now, and uh, we haven't beaten them. So it's not going to happen probably for another 10 or 15, I imagine. So I've been Bill like said, This has been Hearts of Iron 4, the Swedish saviors. We are saving the world as Sweden. And I'll tell you what, the Allies couldn't do it by themselves. They need us. So I've been Bill like said, as I said before, and uh, take care. I'll see you next time.